is The Chris Abraham Show. there this is the chris abraham show season five episode 46 it's just kind of going to be a walkie talkie day but i think i'm going to follow up on some of the ideas i had yesterday my twin sister linda Goyne told me that i sounded uh unhinged and crazy and so i'm like good i got it right um I'm walking in the elevator and stuff, so I might have to talk and stop talking and so forth because there might be people around, but who cares? Um, today's Friday for August 2023, the year of our Lord. Um, so much fun to hear all this stuff about uh, all the um, indictments of Donald G. Trump, and uh, I find it endlessly amusing. And as a result, it uh, it amuses me endlessly because the word I was trying to come up with yesterday is uh, the word I was trying to come up yesterday. As an aside, there's a, a guy in my building who is probably four or 500 pounds, and uh, he is on a walker. And even though I know that snitches get stitches, every time I walk by him, he hits me up for money. And I just went to the management team and told them, and they want me to be a snitch. So I told them I'd be a snitch. Um, so... Also, in addition to all that, um, he, uh, he definitely, in addition to all of that, he definitely leaves the uh, elevator extremely ripe. I mean, very literally, like, you can't even go in there. It's worse than the, uh, I mean, Miriam's kitchen wasn't bad, but like, you know, Homeless people can be pretty ripe, uh, and I know that everybody needs a place to stay, but, um, and he's really nice about it, like he's not threatening, but every time I pass him, he asks for $2 or $5 or whatever, and I just don't want that in my own home. So I'm a snitch who will get stitch, and I'm a, I'm a, uh, turning on my own kind. Big, fat, stinky men. Uh, he's a white dude before anybody gets hissed off at me. Gotta be 500 pounds, 400 pounds. I don't know. He makes me feel like a little girl again. Um, so, I was going to say this about Trump. McTrump face is, uh, like I said yesterday, he's completely, simply, and irrevocably... He's an avatar. He's an avatar. He is, like I said, completely and utterly the heel in the uh, theatrical sporting event known as American politics. And as I was trying to be precise about yesterday, the world is watching and it's seeing more bad behavior on the left than it's seeing on the right. It's seeing a stronger, tyrannical, anti-rule of law, political prosecution behavior vis-a-vis -vis the kind of thing that we've always made fun of uh, and we've always chastised from people uh, in places such as Russia and North Korea and Libya and Iraq and Iran 
and the stands and whew, most every country in Africa we see uh, we make fun of their of their bridled and uh, tame acceptance of uh, saddles the way our media have become they become they went from holy priests to to shameless Pharisees worshiping at the the fatted calf, the gold calf, uh, worshiping at the uh, at the foot of the idol, 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 idolatry. So everybody's in the pocket of somebody. Somebody's coming up with strategy and tactic. So somebody and everybody that's in the establishment is taking orders from somewhere. I no longer believe that we perceive a conspiracy because we perceive the emergent response to uh, literally Hitler, literally Mussolini, literally Stalin, literally uh, Lenin, literally Pol Pot, literally Saddam Hussein, literally Gaddafi, literally Assad, in the, sing the single human man known as Donald Trump, who I'm starting to believe is very clearly, in fact, also responding to the same script. And his job is to be the face. However, 99.99%, even after telling people, do not want to believe that professional wrestling is a theatrical event and not a sporting event. It might be athletic, but so is circus, and so is ballet, and so are the Olympics, and so is the World Cup. Although I really think that the World Cup and the, and the NFL and the uh, NBA and world soccer and um, definitely baseball, I believe that those are, uh, are scripted events as well. Um, especially the Super Bowl. My God, the Super Bowl and the Oscars and uh, Eurovision Song Contest, they're all perfectly always awarded. Oh, and beauty contests are perfectly awarded to the biggest victim, uh, be it, you know, whomever, whichever country, like for the, for the time being, it was Ukraine. Uh, next, I guess it'll be Taiwan. Uh, then it'll maybe be Syria or who knows. My point is, I don't have a point, first of all, but my point is, is that even if, even if, um, Trump is, in fact, the heel in a scripted dance of politics, and Biden is the elder face, and let's say California Governor uh, Newsom, the only reason I remember his name is because of the French phrase, Newsom, Newsom, we are Newsom. Um, and, you know, DeSantis, who is completely establishment, is only play acting. And, you know, Pence, who is obviously play acting, he's not even a good actor. And this drama of anti-war, anti-Ukraine populism, which really appeals to me. I'm really into populism. I'm more of a an extreme leftist populist, which y'all think I'm a, a right-wing uh, Trumpy, but that doesn't matter. I'm an anti-war, anti-Ukraine, um, anti-interventionist, 
anti, like strongly anti neolib, strongly anti neocon. Um, I used to call myself a liberal Democrat or a classical liberal vis-a-vis -vis, uh, the world of JFK, um, which also is why uh, RFK Jr. appeals to me so much. And also people like Tulsi Gabbard and, um, and uh, I guess Russell Brand and Jimmy Dore and Joe Rogan and... Here we go. Here's a big diesel trunk for you guys. You won't hear this because I have totally the Adobe AI thing going. So I'm going to totally run that in and we'll see if that is able to uh, extract my voice and make everything. Everything's going to be all right. I uh, had Bard and I had ChatGPT uh, write a couple articles for me today. And they were about the fact that uh, I'm returning again. I've been lying to you. Every morning when I say, I just had a super big breakfast and that's going to be the only calories I have today. The only thing I'm going to drink from now on is um, black coffee, espresso, and uh, relight and elementy salt supplement. Um, I've been lying to you, but today for real today, one meal a day, one breakfast a day, no food shall pass my lips until, uh, seven or eight o'clock tomorrow morning. And we'll see what happens. I mean, that's how everything worked. It was carnivore. I did. Ha I had, um, lots of ground beef. I had two big double thick pieces of bacon. I had a bunch of eggs. And then I had uh, a medium Haas avocado. And so that was like 1,600, 1,650 calories, something like that. So it was lots of calories. So it was a little bit more than I even, uh, I even budgeted. Wow, it's so loud. We're going to really see how the Adobe uh, AI sound moderator saying if you guys are going to be listening to me do any uh um speaking in tongues it's going to be in this craziness but uh yeah i think that what we're going to end up seeing is we're going to end up seeing um how hyper prideful how hyper hubristic how willing to do anything and it's uh it's very similar, like I said in an episode a few times ago, is when is the cure worse than the disease? And how much of all the terrible things that Trump allegedly did is bullshit that's written about him? Or the response of never Trumpers who stopped work and slowed work and didn't carry out his instructions and didn't do a thing he said and fought rigorously against him and so forth, like how much of that was, how much of Trump's terrible, terrible, terrible work was the work of, um, of what's called the deep state. I would say the professional government class, the professional federal class, state and local, um, including the people who pledged fealty to Trump, but did that as a as a bait and switch, like how many of that, how many of those people um, did more damage in the chemotherapy against Trump than in uh, than actually Trump did on his lonesome? Uh, unfortunately, after all this time, nobody believes January 6 was anything. Nobody believe. I'm talking about the right. The left still believes all this stuff. The right, that doesn't trust any media at all. They don't believe Jan 6 was anything. They totally believe that the last presidential election was stolen. Uh, they believe that uh, the left projects the, um, the crimes that they've done. Uh, that every time they project against Republicans, they're in fact revealing what they've done. 
uh, they believe they don't believe in Russia Gate. They don't believe that uh, that uh, Trump was either a Russian or a Chinese or a North Korean stooge. Like they don't believe any of it. They've used up all of their good faith, and now they all have his bad faith. So we'll see what happens. And I am almost at Starbucks to buy. What is Starbucks? I'm almost there, so I'm going to close out. And thank you very much for this, and I'll talk to you soon. We'll see how the AI does. I'll talk to you later. for listening to the chris abraham show make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes until next time